Hey everyone, Brian here with Honest Mechanic. Today I want to talk about resetting transmission control modules on Ford vehicles. This applies to many models. Now, the transmission control module, or TCM, is essentially the brains of your vehicle's automatic transmission. It's like a computer chip that communicates with the transmission, telling it when to shift gears based on input it receives from the engine and transmission sensors. Over time, and this is quite interesting, the TCM can actually learn and adapt based on your driving style. But as with any piece of technology, it can start to fail or work improperly. When this happens, it can cause a variety of transmission problems. Everything from delayed shifts, slamming gears, warning lights on the dashboard, to getting stuck in one gear. Often when folks experience these types of frustrating transmission issues, the culprit ends up being a faulty TCM. Some common symptoms your Ford's TCM may be going bad are, First, harsh gear shifts. Your vehicle might feel like it's slamming hard into the next gear, whether you're upshifting or downshifting. Second, the illumination of warning lights. If your check engine light or transmission fault indicator lights are on, take note. Third, your transmission might be overheating due to improper torque converter lockup. Fourth, you might experience acceleration problems like lack of power, hesitation, or surging. Lastly, a burning smell may be present due to transmission fluid overheating. These symptoms are not to be taken lightly. If you're noticing persistent issues with shifting behavior or acceleration, especially if they're accompanied by warning lights, your TCM might be crying out for help. When this computer chip starts failing, you'll often get intermittent problems that seem to temporarily go away. Don't be misled, that's a telltale sign of an impending total TCM failure. But before you start panicking, there's something you can do. Try resetting the TCM. There are two different methods to do this on your Ford, depending on your model. First, disconnect the negative battery cable and let it sit for about 15 minutes. This will allow all computer systems to fully reset. Afterward, reconnect the battery cable, making sure it's securely tightened. Insert the key into the ignition, but hold off starting the engine. Turn the key to the on position for around 10 seconds to initiate the PCM, the main engine computer. Once that's done, start up your Ford and let it idle for about 5 minutes. With your foot firmly on the brake, slowly shift through each gear, allowing ample time for engagement. Once you've gone through the gears on your shifter while idling, drive the vehicle normally. Accelerate gently and allow soft shifts from gear to gear. The TCM will relearn and adapt as you drive. This effectively resets all transmission adaptive memory and often resolves issues without replacement. If the above steps did not work, let's look at method two. Here are the steps. Step one, initiate the process. Begin by inserting the key into the ignition or press the starter button to power on the vehicle. Step two, neutral gear. Positioning, shift the gearbox into the neutral position commonly indicated by N. Step three, power down, turn off the vehicle and pause for around 20 seconds. Step four, park mode. Engagement, move the gearbox into park mode, usually denoted as P. Step 5, partial ignition power on the vehicle again, but avoid starting the engine completely. Step 6, brief waiting period, hold for an additional 20 seconds. Step 7, rapid on off sequence, turn off the vehicle and immediately turn it back on. Step 8, sport or drive mode, selection change the gear to either the sport S or drive D setting. Step 9, completion alert. Listen for an alarm sound signaling the completion of the TCM reset process, only on some models. Post-reset steps. You are now ready to drive the vehicle normally. Optionally, you might want to relearn the TCM for optimal performance. If you found this video helpful, please like and subscribe. Thanks for watching.